You are welcome to PSLE Max. Let's look at a pattern problem from Henry Park Primary School 2018 prelims paper. This is question number 17. Farah uses black and white buttons to form figures that follow a pattern. The first four figures are shown below. The table shows the number of black and white buttons used for each figure. Complete the table for figure 5. So pattern 1 does not have any black button. Pattern 2 has one black button. Pattern 3 has three which means that's an increase of 2. And pattern 4 has 3 plus 3, 6. So the increase is 1, 2, 3, and now there should be 4 increase, which is 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. So pattern 5 would have 10 black buttons. Now coming to the number of white buttons. Pattern 1 has 1 white button. Pattern 2 has 4. Pattern 3 has 9, which is 3 times 3. Pattern 4 has 16, which is 4 times 4. So these are basically square numbers. So pattern 5 is 5 times 5, 25. Now coming to the total number of buttons, we just have to add the black buttons and the white buttons. So for figure 5, 10 plus 25 is 35. Part B of the question, a figure in the pattern has a total of 176 black and white buttons. What is the figure number? For this, we should be deriving the formula for nth figure. The number of black buttons follow triangular numbers, which means the numbers adding up until n. Let's first see quickly what are triangular numbers. 1 plus 2 plus 3, when the sequence increases with the next number, they are called triangular numbers. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 until n will add up. The formula is n times n plus 1 divided by 2. In this case, pattern 2 has only 1. And pattern 3 is the numbers added until 2. Pattern 4 is the numbers added until 3. So the triangular number formula until n minus 1 is the formula here. So it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 until n minus 1 is equal to n minus 1 times n divided by 2. So that is our formula for number of black buttons. Now coming to the number of white buttons, it follows the square numbers, which means it is n times n. So for pattern 2 is 2 times 2, pattern 3 is 3 times 3 and so on. So that is very straightforward. Now coming to the total number of buttons, we just have to add up the 2. So the figure number which has 176 black and white buttons together, we need to add up the two formulas n minus 1 times n by 2 which is the number of black buttons plus n times n is the number of white buttons. So when we equate this directly to 176, it is very difficult to find the value of n. So we use a little bit of algebra to simplify this expression. We take out the common factor n divided by 2. So the remaining is n minus 1 plus 2 times n. That adds up to 3 times n minus 1 times n by 2. So now this we can equate to 176, which means 3 times n minus 1 times n should be 176 times 2, which is equal to 352. The mathematical method to solve this is beyond P6 level. So let's do by simple guess and check. 3 times of n times n is around 300. So if we have the value of n to be around 10, 3 times of 10 is 30, 30 times 10 is around 300. So we know the value of n is somewhere around 10. So first let's check the actual value okay, having n to be equal to 10. 3 times of 10 is 30, 30 minus 1 is 29, 29 times 10 is 290. But we need 352. So let's increase the value of n to be equal to 11. Let's check 11. So 3 times of 11 is 33 minus 1 is 32 times 11 is 352. Yes, so we got the value of n to be equal to 11. So figure 11 would have 176 black and white dots. Part C of the question is a figure in the pattern has 784 white buttons. How many black buttons are there in that figure? So we know that the number of white buttons is represented by the formula n times n. So n times n is 784, which means n is equal to, we use the square root function in the calculator, 
to get the value of 28, which means 28 times 28 will give us 784. So the figure number is 28. The question is how many black buttons are there in that figure? So n is equal to 28, n minus 1 is 27 times n by 2, which is 28 by 2, is equal to 378 black buttons. So that's the answer to part C of the question. So this is a tricky question from Henry Park. If you find solving the formula for part B of the problem a bit difficult, we can do it in one more method which would be accepted at B6 level. The total number of buttons, we see that figure 1 to 2, the increase is 4. Figure 2 to 3, the increase is 5 to 12, which is 7. Figure 3 to 4 is 12 to 22, which is 10. And figure 4 to 5, the increase is 13. So we see that the increase itself is increasing by 3. So we can continue to find out figure 6, which would be 35 plus 3 more than 13 is 16, which is 51. And figure 7 would be 51 plus 3 more than 16 is 19, which is 70 and so on. So figure 8 would be 92, figure 9 would be 117, figure 10 would be 145 and figure 11 would be 176. So we get that figure 11 would have 176 black and white buttons. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more problem sums. If you have a specific question that you would like to see a video on, please post it in the comment section. Thank you.